Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with Adobe Bridge. Let's start! Alright, I'm going to open Adobe Bridge. And this is the default interface that you will see. I'm going to increase the size of this window. And here in Adobe Bridge, you will see different panels. On the left part, you can see here you have the favorite panel with a few folders by default. For example, you can connect to your computer, to your desktop, the document folder, and other folders. I'm going to open here the material, and I'm going to work with these files. Here in Adobe Bridge, I can see all these pictures, and then, but I would like to increase the size of those thumbnails. On the bottom right part, you will see this slider. If you move the slider to the right, you can increase the size of those thumbnails. In addition, if you select one picture in Adobe Bridge, here on the right part, next to the publish, you have the preview. And here you can preview this image. The Adobe Bridge interface is elastic. One of the things that you can do, you can click and drag and you can expand this preview and then you will have more space to see that picture. Then in addition, you can change the entire interface. How you can do that? Here on the top part, you have, for example, final strip. If you click there, you can see now the content panel is on the bottom part and you can select the files here and then you can see this big preview or you can select metadata. With the metadata, you can see more information on the files. And then next to the metadata, you can see this triangle. If you click there, you can see more workspaces that you can investigate. I'm gonna go back to the essential workspace. In Adobe Bridge, the only thing that you can do, you can hit the space bar and you will see the picture in full screen. That is pretty cool because you don't have to open Photoshop in order to see this picture in full screen. Then with the arrows on your keyboard, with the right arrow, you can go to the next picture. In addition, you can click over the picture and you will zoom to the 100%. I'm gonna hit the space bar again. Okay. Now, I would like to show you also, you can preview a PDF. And here on the preview part, you can preview the pages inside that PDF. Or for example, if you have an MP3, you can hear the music. And if you have a video, you can watch the video if you press the play. All right, also in Adobe Bridge, if I hit, for example, in this picture, if I hit the space bar, I can add rating. For example, if I like this picture, I can press the key one, two, three, four, or five, and you can add stars, you can see on the bottom left, or you can do the six, seven, eight, nine to add different label. That is pretty cool. For example, if you want to create a wor um, workflow, for example, the picture with five star is the most interesting picture. The picture with red label is a picture that needs color correction. You can create your own workflow with Adobe Bridge. Also, if you select the picture, you can add the label from the label menu and you can see all these labels. All right, the other part that I like in Adobe Bridge is the filter panel. What you can do there? Here in the filter panel, if you see, for example, I have JPEG file. If I click here, I'm gonna see just my JXP files. And then I'm gonna select, for example, this picture. I'm gonna hold down the shift and I'm gonna this other one. And then I can group those pictures. If you right click, you can access here to create an stack. Can you see, you can group and stack. And then you will group all those pictures and you have here a slider that you can see the picture inside. If you click on the number four, you can expand that stack. If you have 100 picture, okay, maybe it's very useful, but in this case, it's just a few picture. All right, I would like to show you all the things that you can do in Adobe Bridge. For example, I would like to change the name of these pictures. I'm gonna select this one, hold on the shift. I'm gonna select this other one. And here on the tools menu, you can select batch rename. And for example, I would like to change the text. I'm gonna put model NYC. And then I'm gonna start with a two digit number from the number one. Select rename, and you can see I rename all those files. All right, 
The other thing that you can do in Adobe Bridge, you can add keywords. For example, I'm gonna select this picture, and here on the right, I have the keywords. On the bottom right part, you can hit the plus sign and you can add a new keyword. For example, nature, enter. And then you can click to add that keyword. Then if I select, for example, this one, all this one with the command or the control key on the Mac or on a PC, I'm gonna select this one, this other one, and I'm gonna add the same keyword nature. What is the advantage of that? What you can do then, you can search in your computer. If you search by keyword, you can find that particular keyword. Let me show you. Here, I'm on desktop, and for example, I'm gonna go to the edit, I'm gonna select find. And here, I already put this, the criteria is keyword. You can change the criteria for another thing, for example, like a description or the file name. Okay, I can take nature. If I select find, now automatic bridge I'm gonna find those pictures with that particular keyword. All right, I'm gonna go back to my folder. I'm gonna go to desktop, material. Oh, by the way, if you are trying to use one particular folder very often, one other thing that you can do, you can click drag on this area and you can see the access to that folder right on the favorite folder. All right, another thing that you can do with that OB bridge is work with that metadata. I'm gonna select this picture and here I'm gonna go to the metadata panel. One thing that you can do here, you can see all the information inside that image. For example, the camera data, you can see the file property, like the file size, the color mode, the dimension, and the date, and other stuff. All right, but I would like to create a metadata template. What is that? For example, if I'm gonna work with this picture of New York City, I'm gonna go here to the drop down menu next to the metadata panel and I'm gonna select here create metadata template and here for example I have the creator then I have a few keywords that I added but for example I would like to add the city New York City all right and then the country USA and I would like to replicate all these on different picture the only thing that I have to do I'm gonna put this for example NYC USA, that is the name of my metadata. I'm gonna save. And then the only thing that I have to do is select other pictures. And then I can go here to the same drop-down menu and select append metadata and I'm gonna select NYC USA. And that is the way you can add the same keyword, description, job title to a group of picture. All right, the final exercise, I'm gonna show you how you can connect Adobe Bridge with other software. For example, in this case, I'm gonna do something with Photoshop. Here, I took this picture trying to create a panorama. And look at this, if you go to the tools menu, you can go to the Photoshop and here you can select Photo Merge. If you click there, automatically Bridge gonna open Photoshop. And here, in the Photo Merge dialog box, I'm gonna select cylindrical because I know that um, that way to create the panorama works very nice. I'm gonna click OK and Photoshop automatically gonna run a script inside and I'm gonna select all those pictures and gonna create a panorama with those pictures. All right, and it's there, it's fantastic. Now I'm gonna select the crop tool. I'm gonna crop for example from here and then crop from there, in addition from there, okay enter okay and i'm gonna save my picture i'm gonna connect to my material my bridge and i'm gonna call this one nyc panorama and save it if you close then you can see now that picture is in adobe bridge and it's there all right, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you can watch all my other videos. See you on the next one. Bye.